Hello, Zoke here for AMVT Productions tutorial series for the Adobe software. Today I'm going to cover how to do a decent wiggle effect over any clip in your composition using one null object. It's a highly useful little snippet I found out the other day after ripping my face off for a couple of hours. So hopefully this can save you some agony and pain. So to start we're going to create a new composition. 1280 by 720 is the current YouTube standard to get high def. It's the recommended screen resolution. Let me wiggle just for fun. All right. So now we've got this composition about seven seconds long. First, I'm gonna import something to wiggle. Let's see this nice little logo using in a competition right now. So just drag and drop that in and I'll stretch the crap out of it just for the purpose of this video. Now you can use whatever footage you want this does apply to anything you don't have to use an image like this but it's just what I'm using right now because I don't want to have to open up Premiere to snag some video footage. So we're going to right click in the composition go to new Null object. I'm gonna hit P to open up the position. I'm gonna hold down Alt, huh, Alt, and click the little stopwatch. This will open up the scripting in After Effects. Now there's a whole bunch of syntax, and you'll just have to mess around with it and watch some tutorials. Today I'm only going to go over Wiggle. So just type in Wiggle. W I G G L E, a parentheses, and just as an example, one comma ten. The first value one is wiggle that many times in a second. So once per second, it's going to wiggle the position by a value of ten, zero to ten. If I do point five every point five seconds, it will wiggle ten pixels and five wiggle five times per second you all right in order to control the wiggle go into the null object type slider and apply a slider effect to it gonna wiggle zero comma and we're gonna pick whip up to the slider now we have our little null object wiggler and more you increase this value the more it's going to wiggle the more intense of a shaking effect you're going to get now you watch that and oh look the little null object moves around but how is that useful I mean the picture isn't shaking well in order to get the picture to shake Go over to modes and just parent it to the null object. And as the null object shakes, so too does our image. And if we were to go in and say grab an, some video footage, now let's say we want this to shake just to make it more intense. Just parent it up to this wiggler and boom it'll start shaking. Just like that. Real simple. This is good for heavy grungy intense scenes. Now I've got a bit more time so I'm gonna show you how to make this even more intense. Let's go in and take directional blur and let's apply that to our logo. And go ahead and turn that back on and delete this. Now we're going to go through and have this self animate using some neat little things to use the value to return the speed that we want it to animate at. So alt click direction. I'm going to type in 0 plus value times time. All right this does is it says return zero that means that if I don't type anything in it won't animate the value that it's currently set at 
meaning that you can use this setting to control how fast it goes. So 30, meaning it's going to move 30 pixels around every second, and you can see it scrolling. Want it faster? Simply go in and increase the original value of it, and it will scroll faster and faster. And I'll think I'll do 120. Now blur length. I'll click it. Same kind of thing, only this time we're going to use another wiggle effect. I'm gonna have it wiggle, let's say five times per second, comma value. Now what this will do is this will wiggle the blur length of our directional blur a random amount up to the current value. Well the current value is zero so it's not going to do anything. Well if let's say 40 means it's going to randomly wiggle back and forth. 40 and so on. And 40 is a little much seeing as it never quite hits zero. Try 20. 20 is a bit less. Just render some of this out. I think even 20 may be a little much. Oh, you know what I forgot? Zero plus that. There we go. That should be much better. Go ahead and pre-render some of that. Oh, and that's intense. A little too intense, actually. It's going to decrease some of this stuff. Go to our null object. About 10 does it. 30 is a little, a little much, a little overboard. Let's see, 15. Let's go ahead and make this really cool and use a motion blur. That slowed it down quite a bit. And there you go. Auto shaking, intense self animating effects using scripting. I know this was a bit of a jump and I have not covered the basics of After Effects. This is a tutorial meant for people who are a bit more familiar with it. So I will be going back and touching up a bit on the basics, but after spending hours on this, I just wanted to share it before I forget slash have to relearn. So hopefully it can save you guys some time. I'll be showing you how to apply this to some audio a bit later now that should be everything all right check you guys later